The setting was one where fans and players alike witnessed many of the greatest moments in the 29-year coaching career of Tom Landry. And they returned Saturday to say thanks to the man who had meant so much to them. The Washington Redskins uh, ball players, uh, they're humans like anyone else. They, they, they come in from D.C. to show their appreciation, as well as all the, uh, the fans here in the Dallas area. And uh, it's just great that these guys, we can be a, such a rivalry on the field, and they come back with a warm heart as they have just to celebrate, uh, of course, Landers Day. I think this is truly one of the great special days that you have. You don't have very often, hopefully. but. Uh, I thought it was wonderful to down to the parade and all the old guys around and get the new old acquaintance. I just thought it was fantastic. It's taught a lot of people how to win and how to live life the right, the right way. And certainly uh, a man like that has, has came across most of these people's lives, fans, players, media people, everybody. And he's uh, been so important to the city and, and, and taught a lot of us a lot about life. It's nice to honor Tom Landry. I really think Dallas and Texas can be proud of what they put together. I know how tough it is to, to even put on a, a banquet for a Rotary Club. So this is this is a tremendous uh, project. The parade was beautiful, and I'm glad to be a part of it because I respect Tom and and uh, what he's done for Dallas and the rivalry we had with the Redskins and for football. And uh, he deserves it. And it's a great thing. For one final time, the Cowboys coach of 29 years walked on the field and drew the cheers and adulation of the fans and felt a little overwhelmed and humbled by it all. It's, it's kind of an overwhelming thing that happens to you. You never expect it. You couldn't even imagine it happening. But when it does, it, it makes you feel very humble, I'll tell you that. Very humble. And it was fitting that this year's opponent in the Classics game was the Cowboys' old nemesis, the Washington Redskins. Brings back a lot of memories when you when you play the Redskins, and we're looking forward to it. It's a good cause, and everybody's going to have a good time, I believe. I just want to beat the Redskins, you know. I hate those guys, and any chance I can get to beat them or go up against them, I'm going to do it. Whether it's Landry Day, uh, Legends Day, whatever day it is, I just want to beat the Redskins. Kenny Houston and I had a visit a while ago, and uh, today I'm going to win. He's, he's going to let me win today. We got to kick the Redskins around a little bit. I, I told George Allen he better not spray down our outside. We would throw him back across the line of scrimmage. You see George? Yeah. He's got his tennis shoes. He's ready to play. My team was known as the Over the Hill Gang 15 years ago. I don't know what I'm going to call them today. They're the Over the Over the Hill Gang, I guess. <laughs> the Cowboys came out on top on the scoreboard by a score of 22 to nothing. But everyone in attendance on Saturday was a winner. Scott Snyder reporting for Sports Scene.